Chapter 12, Introduction to Chemistry. We will pick up later where we left off with the ancient history of our people. Some events in the history require the understanding of more scientific concepts. So we continue now with an ancient perspective on chemistry using modern concepts. We have already explained that physics and astronomy are the same. The first deals with atoms and electrons while the latter deals with stars and planets. Atoms and electrons are tiny stars and planets, not metaphorically, but in actual fact. They are the star systems of the previous universe that become the seed that give birth to the present universe. That is how God expands his and her mind outside of eternity and simultaneously increases the creation, not by a big bang, but as naturally as a flower grows from a seed. The law of creation is as above, so below. By studying one, we will know the other because what is above is identical to what is below, differing only in size. The laws and proportions are identical. The next question then to be answered is, what is chemistry? Is it related to physics and astronomy? Chemistry is the understanding of how atoms combine to form compounds using the magnetic laws of attraction. Compounds are things like water, air, fake nails, rocks, jello, and gold teeth. They are all made of atoms combining or compounding with each other according to two basic laws of attraction called the first magnetic law of attraction and the second magnetic law of attraction. Modern scientists have discovered the basic natural elements. They then added artificial elements to the list to make up what they call their periodic table of elements. The periodic table of elements is a list of all the basic natural elements found on earth. Basic natural elements are naturally occurring elements, i.e. not man-made, after being reduced to their simplest form. All that I've said so far may sound complicated, I did that on purpose to expose you. If you have ever been exposed before to how modern scientists teach and complicate simple things, here's another way. Atoms are solar systems of the previous universe. Each solar system has planets circling around a sun. Each sun either has one planet, two planets, three planets, and so on up to a hundred planets circling around. I'll repeat in case modern scientists think my tongue slips. There are solar systems with 100 planets circling their sun, others with 99, some with 98, and so on, all the way down to the smaller solar systems, which have only one planet orbiting its sun. That makes 100 different kinds of solar systems. On Earth, there are exactly 100 basic natural elements. Do you make the connection? When the first Earth of a new universe is created, the star systems of the previous universe become the atoms of that first Earth. In that previous universe, there are countless trillions of what can be called type one star systems. Those are star systems with only one planet. Then there are countless trillions with two planets or type two. Similarly, there are countless trillions of type three, type four, and so on up to type 100, which are the largest star systems having 100 planets. The first law of magnetic attraction attracts the star systems of the same type to each other. That is, type one stars are attracted to other type one, type two to type two and so on. Toward the end of the universe, the star systems actually move through space over a period of trillions of years until they find each other and group together in clusters. Those with one planet form clusters that are described by modern scientists as having a nucleus and one electron i.e. the sun in a single planet. When trillions of these star systems cluster together, they form a natural element on Earth called hydrogen. What is hydrogen? Them. It's a gas made of atoms with one electron circling a nucleus. Us. It's a gas made of star systems of the previous universe, all of which have one planet circling the sun. What is a gold tooth? Then, it's a metal made of atoms that have 79 electrons orbiting the nucleus. Us, it's a metal made of star systems from the previous universe with 79 planets circling their sun.